Hey, man. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing fantastic. <laughs> well, thanks. Uh, thanks for spending a few minutes with me today, man. I do appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. No problem at all. I just got a little clunky with the phone updated, so it was asking me more questions than I wanted to see. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. What room are we in right there? What, what's uh, what's behind you? What do we got? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just trying to find some good background art. Those are those are some trophies over the years. Uh, gold record and stuff like that. Uh, you know, they, every now and then they, they give us nice little trophy, tro trophies for stuff. Oh, it looks awesome. Well, I'd like to welcome you to the uh, Red Room of Death here at Rock 061. That's uh, where sometimes dreams go to die that are really just bad and influenced over alcohol. But uh, I appreciate you spending a few minutes with me because obviously i uh, come back to Savannah for the first time in five years. Uh, you guys were actually last year in 2019. I'm sure that feels like a lifetime ago at this point. Yeah, anything pre-COVID feels like a, it does feel like a separate life. <laughs> Well, uh, once again, uh, 10 years, obviously, coming to town. Wednesday, May the 8th, Victory North Savannah. You played the room before. Uh, do you remember Victory North Savannah? I mean, you've done probably a bunch of shows in between then and now. I mean, is that a room that you remember in, in, in a fond way? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was, It was. if my memory strikes me correct, it was a really good time. And I, I personally love Savannah anyway. Like, I think it's a really cool town, so. Yeah, because, I mean, the band's from Knoxville. Do you, are you from Tennessee? Do you still live there or do you live somewhere else? I said we all, uh, the, the majority of us, four of us still live in Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay. Awesome, man. Well, we're, we're excited to have you and you're about to jump out on like a three month run. Uh, so with all that being said, how do you physically and mentally prepare yourself? You've been a homebody for a little bit. Now you're going to have to go out on the road, see a lot of people that you may or may not like a lot, potentially your bandmates <laughs> for the first time on a full-time basis. How do you prepare yourself to make sure that this is a smooth process over the next couple months? Well, fortunately, over the years, we've kind of built a, a, a group that we, a touring group that we all get along with. I mean, everybody's supposed to be able to do their job well, but it's just as important to be a, a, a tolerable roommate. So yeah, we, we all, we all get along. So that, that helps with, with touring and traveling and stuff. But uh, to prep for me, it's just a lot of, um, just vocal exercises and stuff. Cause over the years when I was younger, you could just get out there and do acrobatic crap all the time and it wouldn't affect. Now it's like, I've got to stay in condition. And stuff do, like do you feel like the rest of your body responds to your voice? Like, is it better if you like do 10 push ups before you try to like sing a song from your stomach or is it just like, it's all really right here in the throat? No, I mean, it, it's very uh, full body engaging, even down to like the way you stand and the way you hold yourself. There's there's all kinds of a deep rabbit hole of, of technique that you can get involved in. But it's really what works for each individual. Every individual's different from the next. So it's it's an ever learning process. Like sometimes I'll be like, wow, I, I, you know, I did a great job. Other times I'm like, man, I need to do some work. <laughs> Was there any advice or like techniques that you got from other singers that you can remember? Like, is there like one thing that made you go, oh man, I never thought of that. And this is, this has been fantastic for me. Uh, one of the key things that I always try to stick to is, is sort of like a visual when it comes to like, if you're trying to, to sing high, instead of reaching for it, almost like you're standing on top of it, looking down. And it just, for whatever reason, it just creates, it's you're on top of it versus grasping for it. And then, the more physical or the more I kind of get my blood going and moving and stuff, it, it opens everything up. Like I'm not the type of guy. That... So would you say you're, would you say you're more of a guy that like runs back and forth on the stage, like a Axl Rose or are you more of a stand right there in the center, like a Scott Weiland would? <laughs> I would say a, a, a mix because the, the acrobatics of just running like Bruce Dickinson, man, it, some of these guys are insane where they can just, they must be singing on a treadmill or something because I don't know how you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. Well, uh, in preparation of my interview with you today, I wanted to uh, search the internet high high and high and uh, short there uh, in regards to stuff, and I found that ten years actually has a coffee called Rise, hundred percent Peruvian. One, are you a coffee guy, and have you ever tasted your own coffee? Yes, and yes. So the reason we even ended up doing this this coffee thing was because um you know we're always trying to think of different things to do and coffee and like 
local beer from town to town. That's the things we like. And um, many years ago, we thought, you know, it might be cool to do coffee, have no clue how to get into it. And then our bass player just raises his hand. He goes, you guys know I have like a, a, a coffee shop, right? We're like, uh. so cut to the to now with the name Rise, guitar player that idea of the coffee that we wanted to do i think that's a perfect opportunity to do it so we got with our bass player and went down had his connections down at like a this roaster where you can pick all these different things and it was pretty wild to go down there and sit like you're sipping on bourbons or tasting different bourbons or sitting there tasting different coffees to pick out what we like and yeah with what we got it wasn't just like you know point at the wall and slap a sticker on it we actually had gone down there and, and picked it out that's awesome. And it's, it's sold out right now. Will there ever be more coffee in the future? I'm sure a lot of people are wondering. Funny because we really didn't know what to expect because it's kind of a, you know, a, a shtick or whatever. It, it, it could be yeah. kind of good. But it being really good coffee, all the people that got it like ordered more. So we're like, well, maybe this is something we can just keep around. It's I've already been through a couple of bags myself. So <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Well, uh, I know your birthday's coming up soon. At least that's what the internet tells me. And I went to famousbirthdays.com, and according to them, not me, I did not say this, according to famousbirthdays.com, you are the 34th most popular singer that has a birthday on April the 27th. One, how does that make you feel? Because I'm angry for you. And also, number one on that list was Patrick Stump of Fall Out Boy. So do you want to go kick his ass? No, no, I'm fine with that. I, <laughs> okay with, and, and what people's ideas of, of fame is I'm, I'm glad to be a, a a vocalist and just be a, a music fame because the the face of fame I don't, I don't want that I don't, I don't want the, the the lack of privacy on all that so the, the more famous you become I think that the more trappings come with it well I'm fine <laughs> well next time you go to the local brewery wherever you're at just let me know that you're the 34th most famous singer with a birthday on April the 27th <laughs> in the world i love it <laughs> well uh earlier this year you put out rise we talked about the coffee obviously called rise you all actually put out a song called that as well that came out in late january and you actually haven't put out a, a full album since uh 2022 so it seems like 10 years is kind of joining the more popular way of releasing music nowadays because you guys have released a couple songs over the last couple of years and you really haven't put out a full-fledged album is that kind of the thought process going forward for the band or is that just kind of how you're working it right now um yeah honestly i mean we've been doing this for almost 20 years from the start of when we this whole thing started but like the climate has changed drastically and just from what we've witnessed from other bands and just talking and, and kind of paying attention to the industry our our we have a, a attention deficit is pretty bad as a society now but if you give we could spend two years writing our masterpiece give it all so I think within one month. So when are when are we gonna hear more music? So it's almost like you have to create a long time to kind of dangle the carrot or drag it out a little bit. And then also the other reason why it's done this way is we've really been trying to go kind of trim the fat and pick out the line. So for the first time ever I think our game plan right now is to uh, have an EP and another EP and it'll all be going as an album. So it is very much more a long form process, which also comes down to like, how do you keep the cohesiveness, how the art direction. So it's, it's, like, it's almost like a series versus a movie, a different process. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm super excited to, to see that culmination when we get to that point. I think that should be Super fun. Well, I just want to say thank you again for spending a few minutes with me. I don't want to hold you up and hold up your whole entire day, but uh, we're very excited to see uh, you guys and Keith Wallen uh, of Breaking Benjamin. He's kind of going solo because he's got that singer ego of his. Uh, <laughs> he's going to be opening up for you guys, and we're very excited to see you both 10 years and Keith Wallen at Victory North Savannah. Uh, you can grab your tickets right now by going to our app or going to rock1061.com or victorynorthsavannah.com. And uh, Jesse, once again, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me today. I'm so excited to see you here uh, in a couple of weeks. May. It's a total pleasure, and we're really, really glad to be back. It's been too long, so hopefully it'll be a good one. Awesome. Jesse, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Uh, and then uh, we'll see you here in a couple of weeks.
My pleasure, man. I'll talk right. to you. Thanks. See ya. See ya.